also at CPAC, there was a panel on Republican minority outreach, and it blew up into a controversy where a 30 year old named Scott Terry said, wait a second, slavery was good for black people. We gave them food and shelter. This was during a, a, a panel by Carl Smith from the Frederick Douglass Republicans. <laughs> this is a real conference, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I should take it seriously. The Frederick Douglass Republicans, which is a perfectly reasonable and logical group to have and to to invite to CPAC. Um, and they hold perfectly reasonable positions in line with with the policy of the Republican Party. Um, I got that out without laughing, Lewis. They held a panel and this guy says, you know, we it was good. We gave food and shelter to slaves. And this is what happened. He, is a 20 from he writes a letter to his former slave pastor and said, I forgive you. For all the things you did to me. Forgiving him shelter, food, all those things. I mean, no. Oh, yeah. Listen, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Okay, so at this point, what happens is you can see the freeze frame. One girl looks shocked. I don't know who she is. She looks shocked. And the guy stands up and he's kind of smirking, which was making a ton think this, this guy may have been a plant who's trolling. I've seen the video a few times. I don't know if it's really a plant because he was responding what appeared to be kind of extemporaneously to a comment that was made. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's, it's hard to say. I mean, it's certainly that the comment itself sounds like like it's a plant, like he's a troll. How could anyone believe that? Right. And he does kind of smile a little bit. Yeah. Uh, maybe he just gets a kick out of uh, playing devil's advocate and is, is, is having his own little experiment here. Uh I don't know. It's hard to yeah. say. The other the other no notes here, Natan, are that at one point a woman challenged Mr. Terry on his views of the Republican Party's roots. And he said, I didn't know the legacy of the Republican Party included women correcting men in public. <laughs> and he also claims to be a direct descendant of Confederate President right. Jefferson Davis. Well, his argument on slavery, that it was really uh, a benevolent institution that was good for blacks, that was a classic argument the Confederacy used yeah. before the Civil War. They said that blacks are inferior and slavery is actually protecting them because if we don't have slavery, they're going to basically just by a sort of, sort of social Darwinism become moot. Yeah, I mean, if it is a plant, he certainly has a lot of the views put together well, which is he claims to be a descendant of Jefferson Davis, and he has a view that was common among the Confederacy. So he's, he's put together a, an interesting persona if it is fake. I think it's real. I don't think it's real. You don't think so? No. All right. No. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Is that a plant? Is that real? I guess we may never know until it comes out that it was a plant. Right. Or it comes out that it that it's not. We will see. We will.